One of the best things about Thomas is undeniably the music. Unlike other TV shows where they only had four or five different interchangeable music tracks, Thomas was different in that they gave every character and every location their own individual themes and musical identity. So Thomas had a theme, Percy had a theme, hell, even the goddamn watermill had its own theme. This was one of the many things that made Thomas so unique. The fact that even one-off side characters like Trevor or Stanley got their own themes. I love it because it shows such an attention to detail. The music for Thomas is just amazing and is undeniably iconic. Iconic. Thomas music still is so relevant in pop culture to this day. <laughs> All thanks to the amazing composers of Thomas, Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell, who composed series 1 through 7, but even Robert Hartshorn, who composed series 8 through 19, had some pretty good tracks too. Hell, even Chris Renshaw, who composed series 20 to 24, had some pretty good tracks as well. In fact, Chris Renshaw still composes for Thomas to this day, although his All Engines Go music will not be featured. For this video, I'm only going to be ranking the character themes. So themes about a location like the busy station theme, or the repairs theme, or the all at sea end score will not be featured in the ranking. Just character themes only. And while I would love to feature the themes I just listed, if I did that, then I'd have to basically feature every musical cue from the entire show, which would take forever, so <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. So, no music from the movies or the runaway theme either. We're just sticking strictly to the character themes. As there are well over 500 Thomas episodes, there might be a theme or two that I miss, and by all means, let me know if I missed any. And also, full disclosure, I don't know anything about about music. I've never studied music in school, I've never learnt any instruments, I've never really learnt how to play music, and my understanding of musical theory is non-existent. So please, take my opinions with a grain of salt. I'll be mostly talking about how the music makes me feel, or how I feel it relates to the character. Also, when I'm interpreting the music, I might get some of the terms wrong, so please be a little forgiving if I get an instrument or two wrong. And also, if you're into music and can explain why one melody works and why another one doesn't, that would be great. I know for a fact there is loads of wonderfully talented musicians in the fandom. In fact, quite a bit of their work features in this video, with credit and links given obviously. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's begin the ranking, starting with number 64, Bulgy's Theme. I'm not really a fan of how this one just sort of farts along. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely one of my least favourite character themes overall. It has this very start-stop quality to it, where the music will stop and then start up again. It's not really nice to listen to because you constantly feel like the melody is stopping and starting. I also really didn't like the use of Bulgy's actual horn sound effects in the music itself. Using real horn sound effects can be done right, like in Bertie's theme or in the whistle song, but here it just feels weird. Not a bad theme by any means, and I'm glad that they actually gave him one, since he didn't have one in series 3. But yeah, definitely one of my least favourite character themes overall. Number 63. Henry's Hit Theme. Out of all the themes in the hit era, Henry's Hit Theme is by far the one I struggle with the most to remember. Like, I can remember most hit themes, but with this one, I can literally never remember what it sounds like. There's just not that much to his new hit era theme, to be honest. It's not that it's even bad, it's just a little forgettable in my mind. I do like how his hit theme represents his archetype very well, it just doesn't leave any impact on me. And I think that's probably one of the worst things a character theme can be. Number 62. Toby's Hit Theme. Alright, we're already into the OK themes. Honestly, Bulgy and Henry's hit themes are the only themes I really don't care for. Everything else from here on out is either OK, really good, or downright fantastic. Toby's hit theme is very slow and methodical, and honestly, I think it really matches Toby's character. Although that being said, much like Henry's theme, I still struggle to remember it. While it's a very, dare I say, bland theme, I still think it matches Toby's slow and old-timey character very well. Number 61. Red Rosie's theme. 
I originally had this team much higher on the list, but I just couldn't justify why. I think Red Rosie's team falls into the Chris Renshaw trap of having the same notes or melody repeated over and over again. Once you notice it, you can never unnotice it. I think the reason it was higher at first was because I just thought it went really well with Red Rosie. There's just something about the violin and Red Rosie that goes so well together. But the theme itself suffers from being a bit too formulaic and very generic. But I still like it. Despite being a generic theme, I still think it matches Red Rosie's character very well. Number 60. Mike's theme. Mike's theme is so grand sounding. It's very triumphant and memorable, but my main issue with Mike's theme is that it simply doesn't suit Mike's character like at all. Something like Duncan's theme or Sonny's theme would have been much better for him. It's a nice grand sounding theme, but it simply doesn't match the character of Mike, which is why it's so low on the list. I would have preferred something a little more troublesome, honestly. But at the same time, I am glad that they actually gave him an original theme, unlike Rex or Bert. Number 59. Cranky's theme. Unlike Mike's theme, I think Cranky's theme suits him really well. I love how kinda chaotic it sounds. The way the theme almost sounds like clanking chains is super clever. The main reason it's also so low on the list is because it's so short. No joke, Cranky's theme is literally only 9 seconds long. The fact that I've actually spent longer talking about it than the actual length of the theme itself says a lot. Number 58. Rebecca's theme. I do actually quite like Rebecca's theme. I think it fits her character very well. It just feels a little generic to me. There's nothing about the theme that really screams Rebecca in my mind. It's a very generic, happy, optimistic theme, and some might argue that that does suit Rebecca quite well. And hey, at the very least, they at least gave Rebecca a theme, unlike Nia. Number 57. Sunny's theme. Unlike Mike's theme that doesn't really suit him, Sonny's theme goes really well with the character. It's the definition of a versatile theme. It works when Sonny's being troublesome and it also works when you're getting redeemed. It's a nice theme but I still think it falls into the repetitive Renshaw trap. Number 56. Fergus's theme. I'll be honest, I don't really feel like Fergus's team really suits the character that well. It feels a bit too hyperactive in my opinion. It honestly doesn't even really feel like a Fergus team. It just feels more like an instrumental track of the little engine who ran away and well that's because it is. But regardless it still sounds very catchy and it is rather nice to listen to. I just don't think it matches the character very well. Number 55. Philip's theme. Unlike Bulgy's theme, I think Philip's theme has a really good understanding of knowing when to stop and when to start. The music sounds very curious, almost like as if it's asking questions. And the way it stops and starts, it almost sounds like as if it's leaving gaps for the answers. I love how upbeat and hyperactive the music is. I love the pitch of the music. I love how chaotic it feels. It all really matches Philip's young, naive character very well. Honestly, an underrated theme in the show in my opinion. A really great earworm of a theme that suits Philip's character very well. Number 54. Bert's theme. Bert's theme is literally just never overlook a little engine, but only slightly remixed. Although I will say, the reason it's higher than Mike's original theme is because I feel like Bert's theme at the very least suits the character way more. I have nothing really else to say about Bert's theme other than I like it. Number 53. Samson's theme. Samson's theme is the definition of an earworm. I think the theme goes really well with the character. I get a sense of pride, but also a sense of foolishness from his theme. It's one of those themes that actually surprised me when I first heard it, and I'm surprised by how well it works with the character. Despite only being used it once or twice, it's still such a catchy theme. One of Chris Renshaw's best in my opinion. Number 52. Roots theme. Root's theme might be one of the most underrated Chris Renshaw themes in the entire show in my opinion. There's such a sweetness to her theme. The way the theme sounds like tinkering is super clever. I think it might be the only person in the entire fandom who actually likes Root. I just think what they were going for her is super interesting and I think her theme really reflects her character. Her theme just makes me want to be creative and it really fills me with a sense of creativity and experimentation and joy. I definitely think I'm in the minority when I say that I really wish we could have gotten to hear more of Root's theme and the character herself. Number 51 Alfie's theme. 
As I've said in other videos, I love how Celtic this one sounds. So, fun fact, the drum used in Alfie's theme is actually called a baron. It's such a specific old Irish instrument and I love the fact that they used it. It really helps with making the music feel more authentically Irish. As I've said before, I love how Celtic this one feels. Number 50. Arthur's Theme. Now Arthur's Theme is amazing. It has a nice rhythm to it and much like Murdoch's Theme, you get a sense that it is the sound you would hear riding inside Arthur's cab. But what I love most about the theme is that it really feels like it belongs with Arthur's character. I think that's the most important thing a character theme can be. It has such a lovely feeling to it. It always brings a smile to my face. I love Arthur's Theme. Number 49. Max and Monty's theme. Ah, uh, I really love Max and Monty's theme. I love how juxtaposed their theme is with the other pack characters. Giving them heavy metal rock music is slightly on the nose, but I think it really matches their rebellious nature. It's a really cool rebellious theme and it really suits Max and Monty very well. Number 48. Trevor's theme. This is one of the lesser known themes in Thomas. It was really only used once or twice. It's rarely shown up in fan content too, so it's definitely one of the more forgotten themes of the show. That being said, I do like it. Giving Trevor fairground music does really add to his character. There is a real sense of cheeriness to it, but at the same time, I wouldn't really go out of my way to listen to it. Number 47, Rex's theme. Despite Rex's theme being a remix of Never Overlook Little Engine, I still think it really matches his character very well. It's very upbeat and quick. You get a sense that it's kind of cocky in nature, and honestly, I think it's the best miniature engine theme, if I'm being honest. Number 46. Connor's theme. Connor's theme is so grand sounding. You really get a sense that this is a fast, streamlined engine. The way the music swoops and sways. My only wish is that we could have gotten to hear more of Connor's music. It matches his character perfectly and is such an earworm of a song. While I did rank it rather low on the list, I honestly think it could rival the likes of Spencer's theme or even Gordon's hit era theme. It's a really good theme, in my opinion. Number 45. Diesel's CGI theme. One of the more controversial themes of Thomas. So, for some reason Chris Renshaw wanted to give Diesel a very hip-hoppy sounding theme. It does feel kind of weird, like I will always prefer Diesel's old classic theme over this one, but I don't know, I just think there's something about it that kind of works. I think it does match Diesel's character in the CGI series, and to be fair, it does sound a little troublesome and mischievous, and at the very least, it was one of the more consistent themes of the Chris Renshaw run. Number 44. Harvey's theme. This is another one of those underrated gems. I love how grand and triumphant this one feels. Much like Cranky's theme, I love how this theme reminds me of like clanking chains. There's a lovely triumphant feeling to it. It really matches Harvey's character perfectly, if you ask me. Number 43. Murdoch's theme. Murdoch's theme is great. It has this sort of steady beat to it, but it still sounds bold at the same time. The music has a cadence to it. It almost sounds like Murdoch's steady beat as he moves along the main line. There's a certain boldness to his theme that simply isn't present in most Thomas music. It almost sounds like a superhero theme. The way it builds and the steady beat and the boldness really makes this theme feel complete. Mike and Jr. really captured the grandiose nature of Murdoch. It's a really great theme and I love it. Number 42. Elizabeth's theme. Elizabeth's theme has this wonderful old-timey feel to it. It almost has a B. Archer quality to it. It almost sounds regal. It sounds exactly like music about an old woman. My main issue with her theme is that it sounds a bit too nice for the grumpy character of Elizabeth, but regardless, it is still a wonderfully posh, old-timey sounding music that does somewhat fit the time period of Elizabeth's character. Number 41. 
Edwards hit team. I think this is another really underrated team in my opinion. As much as I love Edwards OG team, the issue I find with his classic team is that it's just been reused to death, to the point that it's difficult to even enjoy the team. So the fact that there is an underrated Edward team is what makes me enjoy this one even more. Edward's hit theme is so upbeat and triumphant, it really matches his character well. I haven't much else to say about it other than I really like it. I think it's honestly underrated and great. Number 40. Daisy's team. Out of all the teams, this is the one I feel most sleazy about. It's a very provocative and oddly sexualized in nature theme. Her theme is actually based on the stripper music. It's very much music you'd associate with like a strip club or burlesque house. I find it insane that they gave Daisy such provocative music. Although considering they overloaded her face with makeup and planned to give her pink buffers, it doesn't really surprise me that much. And you know, for what it's worth, at least they did give a theme that matches Daisy character, but yeah, this one always kind of rubbed me the wrong way if I'm being honest. Number 39, the PAX theme. I really like this theme, but it's difficult for me to put into words as to why. If I could describe it in one word, it would be completion. I love the contrast between the guitar strings and the trumpet. I love the small bit of piano at the opening. It's one of those themes that just puts everything into perspective. I love it. It always gets me in a good mood. Number 38. James's hit theme. As much as I love James's theme, I do wonder why it opens with a fart. <laughs> Okay, jokes aside, Hartshorn's teams get a lot of flack for the one no trumpets that he uses. And yeah, he does a little over rely on the trumpet, but I think in terms of James's team, I think the trumpets work really well. Because of James's old team, we associate him with jazz, so I always feel like his hit team was really like an extension of that, even though it wasn't intentional. I still feel like the trumpet is something you associate with jazz, which is why I think James's hit team honestly goes so well with the character. Number 37, Salty's theme. I must say, Salty has a pretty fitting theme. It feels very pirate-like. It's quite like Fergus's theme in a way, where the melody is literally just a reuse of his song. The reason it's not too high on the list is because, well, I do find it a bit generic. It's not bad, it's just a pretty standard pirate theme. Number 36, Rosie's theme. I really like Rosie's team. Honestly, I think it's one of Hartshorn's best in my opinion. I love the use of the flutes, and much like Percy's hit team, I think the flute helps with making the character feel younger. It's a very young character team. It's a very sweet and optimistic team, and I think it really suits Rosie's character perfectly. I also love the use of the violins in the opening. I'd love to see someone remix her Red Rosie team with her classic team. Number 35. Young Bao's team. Another really underrated gem. Young Bao's team is perfect. He is one of the few international characters who actually gets a theme. And I love it. It's such a powerful, optimistic and hopeful team, but it also has this sense of tragedy woven into it. While it's a very somewhat basic theme, sometimes I think the most basic themes are usually what makes it more effective. And in Young Bao's case, that is definitely true. I'm also glad that they didn't go for a really stereotypical Chinese sounding theme. I'm so glad that his music is less representative of his country and more representative of his actual character itself. I love it. Number 34, Bradford's theme. Bradford's theme is honestly kind of hit or miss for me personally. On the one hand, I love the fact that they gave him the Great Escape theme. It really works for his militaristic character. However, where it falls flat for me is that it's literally just the Great Escape theme. I'm fine with them reusing themes or getting inspired by themes, but when it's literally just a copy-paste of that music track, that's when I start to have a problem. Like take Oliver's theme for example. That was a theme that was inspired by the Great Escape, but Mike and Jr. had this ability to twist it and make it into their own thing. Whereas here, it just feels like the Great Escape theme just copy and paste into Thomas. It's not a bad theme by any mean, but it is rather cliche. Number 33. Donald and Douglas's CGI theme. Donald and Douglas's theme for CGI is just amazing. 
it kind of amazes me how much it suits their character. It's an honest debate as to whether or not it could be better in Mike and Junior's original score for them. It's just so triumphant and happy. It always puts a smile on my face. I have very fond memories of listening to Donald Douglas's CGI theme. I remember a time back in 2016 or 17 when it was snowing and I was walking to school and I was listening to Thomas songs as I walked along my way and as it was snowing Donald and Douglas's CGI theme actually came up and I got this wonderful moment of listening to their theme while being in the snow. One of my fondest memories honestly. I don't know, it's just a really nice experience and it really made me appreciate their theme even more. Number 32, Percy's Hit Theme. There is a lovely innocence and sweetness to Percy's hit theme. There's something about the flutes that just invoke childlike innocence. I think it should also be mentioned that Percy's hit theme is literally just Indiana Jones. Jesus, what was it with Thomas stealing music? It's a weird parallel, but oddly works. It really matches Percy's adventurous spirit, let's say. Number 31. Jack's theme. As I've said before, I love how Irish the pack themes feel. I also love the use of the flute in his theme. I love the use of the harp. I love the use of the violin. All very Irish instrument. It sounds like a very workmanlike theme. It just sounds so plucky, and I think it really matches the character of Jack Perfect. Another great theme, which, like the character, goes really well, but was just shy of making the top 30. Speaking of which, number 30, Harold's theme. If I could describe Harold's theme in one word, it would be ascension because I feel like I'm floating away to heaven whenever I hear this one. The way the theme starts off slowly and then slowly starts to build before finally taking off into the sky and we get this lovely heavenly feeling of hovering overhead. Having such ascension in his theme is perfect for this helicopter character. It goes so well together. I love it. Number 29. Stanley's theme. Stanley's theme is quite the anomaly, in that most of the themes composed for characters were reserved for the main ones only in this era. So Stanley is rare in that he's one of the few hit era characters who actually gets a theme, and I must say, I really like it. It just sounds so different from Hartshorn's other themes. It really stands out. Part of me wonders if the reason Hartshorn gave Stanley his own team was because they were originally planning to add him to the Steam team, but that was just a theory of mine. Hence why his own team stood out. But that's just an idea I had. Number 28. Terence's theme. Terence has such a cool and catchy theme. Much like Cranky and Harvey and Harold's theme, I love how this one literally sounds like the actions of the character. I love how his theme literally sounds like caterpillar tracks. What is also great about Terence's theme is that unlike Salty or Fergus's, I'm not instantly reminded of his song. Terence's theme works perfectly just on its own. And that's what I love about it. Number 27. Emily's classic theme. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but I think I actually like Emily's hit theme more than her classic theme, and I'll explain why when I get to her hit era theme. But just because I like her other theme more doesn't mean I still don't like her classic theme. Emily's classic theme to me feels so gracious. It really makes Emily feel like as if she's actually gliding along the rails. It is such a sweetness to the theme, and it really matches her character. It's very fluttery music, and it almost has a ball room like quality to it. While I like her other theme more, I won't deny that this theme perfectly represents her series 7 character. Number 26. Bertie's theme. Bertie's theme is actually pretty great. Bertie's theme is such an earworm of a song. Unlike Bulgy's theme where the horn sound effects feel out of place, here, Thomas and Bertie's horn sound effects really help with completing the score. I love how like even characters such as Bertie can get fantastic music in Thomas. It's honestly the best racing theme out of the whole show. I can't wait to use it in my Wales video. Wait, what? Number 25. Gordon's hit theme. 
I love how grand and bold this one sounds. As much as I love Gordon's OG theme, I think there is a real argument to be made for this being his best theme. I love the way this one starts out slow and gradually starts to build before becoming faster and bolder. It almost feels like Gordon's starting to build up speed as he goes along the mainland. It has such a strong, powerful, bold theme. I love it. And the brass and percussion really add to that, I think. Number 24. James's CGI theme. I must say, I really love the synergy between all of James's themes. I really love how jazzy and upbeat they made James's new theme. It really matches James. I'm so happy that Chris Renshaw continued James's musical identity with jazz. There is just a confidence, a sense of boldness, and a bit of joy that comes from jazz, which I think really matches James's character perfectly. Renshaw and Hartshorn may have changed quite a few themes, but they understood that Mike and Jr. had struck gold with James's jazzy musical identity. Number 23. Spencer's theme. Spencer's theme is honestly amazing. Whenever I think of a fast engine in the show, this is what I think of. It kind of feels like a hybrid of Gordon's hit theme and Emily's classic theme, where you have the boldness and the speed of Gordon's theme, but you also have the elegance and sophistication of Emily's classic theme. I love that the theme never lets up. It feels like you're taking a rocket ship. I love that. Number 22, Mavis's theme. I really enjoy Mavis's theme. It is so light and fluttery. It really feels like an elegant theme, but it also has this impatient quality to it. Like the theme just never seems to quit. It's slightly repetitive, but it's also one of the most beautiful themes in all of Thomas. It's also so graceful and it just matches Mavis's character perfectly in my mind. Number 21, Duncan's theme. I've talked before about how Mike's theme really didn't match his character, and well, Duncan's theme is the exact opposite of that, in that I think his theme matches his character perfectly. It has a very simple melody to it, but I think that's what makes it work so well. I love how the theme gradually builds, I love how unhinged parts of it feel, I just love how all around the theme is so perfect for the character. One of the best character themes ever. Number 20, Bill and Ben's theme. This theme is really uplifting. It almost feels too good for Bill and Ben. Like their theme is so cheeky and playful, yet upbeat at the same time. It is such a catchy tune, and I always find it cheers me up on a down day. It just shows how truly powerful Mike and Jr.'s work was. Number 19. Thomas's hit theme. Now I know for a fact this is going to be a very controversial placement, but I don't care. Because I don't care. I really like Thomas's hit theme. I just love how mature the theme feels. This is what Thomas's theme should sound like at this point in the show. The theme makes him feel more grown up as a character. This probably very obviously wasn't intentional, but I think it was cool nonetheless. I really love his mature arc that Thomas had in the hit era. Granted, it wasn't always like that and it was definitely inconsistent, but the times where Thomas was a mentor to the other characters was peak hit era Thomas in my mind. Number 18. Sir Topham Hatt's theme. Arguably one of the most iconic themes in the entire show. I think what makes this theme work so well is its simplicity. In just a few notes, you know that shit is going down. And it literally only lasts 23 seconds, and yet somehow the theme always manages to invoke such a sense of authority. It really goes to show how sometimes the simplest themes can be the most effective. Number 17. Daisy's CGI theme. Now I know for an absolute fact that people are going to be shocked that I put this here. I rank this theme so high, higher than some of the classic Thomas themes, even higher than Daisy's classic theme herself, but goddamn, I don't care. Chris Renshaw really struck gold with series 20. My god, there are some banger tracks in this season. I honestly think this is an improvement on her old theme. It still has some of the old DNA in it, but it just feels like an overall improvement. I love the energy that this theme brings. You get such a sense of maturity, but it also feels so grand sounding. It just matches Daisy's headspace of that era of the show so well. I love it. Number 16. Duck's theme. 
What I love about Duck's theme is that it's like waltzing music. The reason Duck is named Duck is because he waddles from side to side, so it makes sense that you would give him waltzing music to match. There's a sort of music you would only hear on a sunny day, a perfect theme for a coastal engine. I love it. Another reason waltzing music works so well for Duck is because waltz is a very formal type of dance. You can't just casually do it. You have to be very precise in your movements. So giving Duck such formal ballroom sense of music is so clever. That's exactly who Duck is. He's the type who'd be brilliant at ballroom dancing. Just look at the themes together with ballroom dancing. Number 15, Luke's theme. I love Luke's theme. It is so powerful and it honestly is so underrated. Luke has such a sweet theme. It really matches Luke's character. It has a very Irish melody to it. I think the use of the flute is what makes it feel so Irish. In a lot of ways, it sounds very sad and tragic, but it also sounds somewhat hopeful and optimistic at the same time. One of Robert Hartshorn's best in my opinion. I've never seen a theme so perfectly capture the character in such a few melodies. I've never seen a theme that just so perfectly captures the character and their struggles in one. I know people will disagree with me putting it here, but I don't care. It's one of my favorite Thomas themes ever, so it goes at number 15. Number 14. Donald and Douglas's theme. Donald and Douglas's theme is great. It just feels so Scottish. I love the use of bagpipes. I love the use of drums. Their theme sort of reminds me of a superhero theme. You get a sense that they are very strong and capable characters. I guess the superhero connection also helps with the fact that most times when we hear this theme, they are literally being superheroes by rescuing the other characters, be it Christmas trees or Henry or Thomas. So having a superhero theme that sounds Scottish goes super well with them. I love it. It's beautiful, wonderful Scottish marching music. Number 13. Emily's hit theme. Emily's hit theme is one of the few hit era themes that I actually prefer over the classic theme. There is such a sense of sadness woven into Emily's hit theme. Much like Luke's theme, you also get a sense of remorse and tragedy from it. Her theme is so elegant and graceful and it feels so much more mature. It really matches Emily's character well. I genuinely don't think I would nearly be a big an Emily fan as I am if it wasn't for her amazing theme. You can literally feel the soul of Emily in this theme, and I just adore that. Number 12. The Scarloy Railway Theme. The Scarloy Railway Theme has such a great sense of scale. It feels small and cozy, yet huge and grand at the same time. I think it's pretty impressive that they managed to create a theme that could represent so many different characters and locations. The Scarloy Theme always transports me to the wonderful narrow gauge world. Truly one of the best themes in the entire franchise. Number 11. Oliver's Theme. Despite Oliver's theme literally just being a remake of The Great Escape, what I love about it is the fact that unlike Bradford's theme, they actually retool it in a way that makes it unique and its own thing. Oliver's theme is so grand sounding. It's one of the biggest and boldest themes in the whole show. It just fills me with the sense of going on adventures and being daring. It suits Oliver's daring and bold character really well. I love it. Okay, we're on to the top 10 now. And in 10th place, we have... Diesel's theme. Diesel's theme is one of the cleverest in my opinion. The idea of having snake charmer music to represent Diesel's character was super clever for a few reasons. First, 
Because when Diesel first came to the railway, the way he charmed the bigger Diesels was almost like putting a spell over them. But also, even more importantly, Diesel later turned out to be a snake. So giving him snake charmer music, since he was a snake but was also charming, is super clever. There's also just something about Diesel's team that just makes him feel separate from the other engines. Hi everyone, forgot to record this, but I love how his Series 6 team also has a bit of a rattlesnake sound in it. You can literally hear the rattle, I love it. It really makes his team sound more snake-like, I just love it. Overall, a really clever character team. Number 9. Rusty's team. So, fun fact about Rusty's team, it might very well be one of the first teams for Thomas I had ever heard, beside the intro itself obviously. I believe Rusty to the Rescue was actually one of the first Thomas episodes I'd ever seen. So Rusty's team has always had a very special place in my heart. This team is just so powerful. I love the use of the violin, it's one of the shorter themes I have on the list but it's just so powerful and was really only used once but my god, every time I hear it I just love it more and more. It's one of my favourite themes ever. Number 8. Toby's Team For such an old-fashioned engine, you'd think they would have given him really gentle slow music, like his hit theme. But what I love greatly about Toby is that you get a sense that there's also a spring in his step. Despite sounding old-timey, there is still so much life in the music. I also get this sense of wisdom and history with it. It's one of those themes that you can't help but fall in love with every time you hear it. It just fits Toby's character so well. Even though they are oldies, they're still goldies. Number 7. Gordon's Team Gordon's team has such a sense of boldness to it. The quick beat and the steady rhythm really gives it a sense of speed and urgency and pride and boldness. I know because it's one of the classic themes that always sticks in my head. It's basically been burned into the minds of everyone who's listened to it, to the point that it might not even have impact anymore. But I still think that it has a sense of speed and boldness and energy that just isn't present in any other other Thomas team. It's truly one of the most iconic Thomas teams ever and is just something that you always associate with Thomas whenever you hear it. Number 6. James's team. Jesus Christ. I have no idea who thought of giving James jazzy music, but my god does it work so well. I just love the brass. Da -na -na -na. It really emphasizes James's cockiness. I also love how the music stops momentarily before starting up again. It just works on so many levels. There is just a confidence, a sense of boldness, and a bit of joy that comes from jazz, which I think really matches James's character perfectly. It's a theme that perfectly captured James's energy. I love it. Number five. Percy's team. Percy's theme always brings a smile to my face. The theme sounds so hyperactive and bouncy, it matches Percy's childlike innocence and character perfectly. As a person who doesn't know anything about music, it's very difficult for me to tell you why it works. I guess there's just a naive, young energy to it that cannot be beaten. Number 4. Edward's theme. I mean, come on. How could this one not make the top 5? I don't think I'd nearly be as big a fan of Edward if it wasn't for his team. It just fits his character so perfectly. It's so triumphant and heroic. I love the use of the flutes. I love the use of the trumpets. A theme can really make or break a character for me personally. And Edward's theme is what really brings his character alive in my mind. It's just one of those themes that doesn't matter what mood I'm in. I will always listen to it and my spirits will always be lifted. It's a triumphant and heroic and has an unwillingness that just cannot be beaten. I love it. I have to find other ways to say that I love a song other than saying I love it, but yeah, I love it. <laughs> Number 3. Stepney's Team. 
Now this might be another surprise team for a lot of people, like really, you're gonna rank Stephanie's team above some of the classics from Series 1? Look, I know that this is gonna be an unpopular choice for the third spot, but honestly, the more I listen to Stephanie's theme, the more I fall in love with it. Stephanie's theme just has an energy all into its own. I can't even put into words how amazing this theme is. It is such a transcendent theme. It's just one of those themes that speaks to my soul. I love it so much, and it's a shame that it doesn't get as much love by the fandom as some of the other classics from Series 1 do, because honestly, I think it's right up there with some of the best. It's such a shame that Stephanie was basically written out of the show, because honestly, I feel like his team had the potential to be one of the most mainstream and iconic teams in the whole show. A certified 10 out of 10. Okay, now onto the final two themes of Thomas. If you've been counting, you know which themes these are but which one do I rank as the best? And the second best Thomas team of all time is... Thomas's team. Now, I thought long and hard about where to place this team on the list. And for a while, I did have it at the top of the list, but ultimately, I just went with my gut for the top one. And I'll explain more when I get to it. Thomas's team is inherently the team that everyone is going to wonder about where I place it. Because, well, duh, it's Thomas's team. It's literally the team that represents the whole goddamn show. It's the team of the main character. It's one of the most iconic pieces of music in the last 40 years. It's kind of crazy to me just how much this theme has influenced pop culture and media. I love Thomas's theme because it's just so cheery and upbeat. It's the ultimate Thomas theme in my opinion. It's the embodiment of the whole goddamn show and everything about it. I also love that the theme matures over time. I mean, my god, just listen to how different the theme sounds by series 6. <laughs> It probably wasn't intentional, but I love how the music of Thomas matures over time. Thomas's theme has been used for so many tracks in the show, such as the song for Night Train, or the way it was used for Fanfare in The Adventure Begins, or my absolute favourite version of the theme is the one from Thomas and the Trucks. Thomas's theme for Thomas and the Trucks might very well be one of my most favorite themes out of the entire show. My favorite part is that woo doo 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 woo doo 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 doo. That right there, in a nutshell, the woo doo 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 is the very thing I love about Thomas encapsulated into one musical cue. I'm not even gonna bother break down why this theme works so well, since there are already way better people out there who are way more qualified and have talked about it in the past, so you can go watch their videos. I know that there are a lot of fans out there who are sick and tired of hearing Thomas's theme, and yeah, sometimes I feel like that too, since it's been used to death in meme culture, but in my opinion, Thomas's theme still is one of the best things to come out of the franchise and has yet to be rivaled by anything else since. However, there is still one theme that I personally think just slightly beats it. And the number one Thomas theme of all time, in my objective opinion, is... Henry's theme. Okay, now I know for a fact that this won't be everyone's top pick, and that's totally fine, but I've thought about this long and hard, I've thought about how each theme represents the character, and I've come to the conclusion that the best Thomas theme that represents the character's journey and tragedy perfectly is Henry's theme. Out of all the character themes, I just don't think any other theme has captured the character as perfect as Henry's theme did. I cannot believe that Mike and Jr. managed to compose a theme that just captured the character of Henry so perfectly. The part where the score lowers just always gets to me emotionally. The music 
music sounds so hopeful and optimistic, but it also is mixed with such a sense of tragedy and loss. It works when Henry's sad, it works when Henry's triumphant, it just works on so many levels. It's such a powerful theme. Some of the most iconic fan favourite moments from the series has used Henry's theme as the soundtrack, such as the flying kipper crash, or the way the music is written more tragically in Henry's forest. Ah, oh, but then the ending music where the music returns hopeful, just like Henry was, the forest is soon restores, the music helps inform the scene and makes the ending hit all the more. The reason I'm ranking Henry's theme higher than Thomas's is because while I love Thomas's theme as much as the next person, I sometimes struggle to associate Thomas's theme with the character himself. There's some parts of Thomas's theme that remind me less of the character and more of the show itself. I guess that's the consequence of making it the main theme of the show, but what I love so much about Henry's theme is that it just feels like it was written for the character. It's just one of those themes that I could never see being swapped out with anyone else. Like, it doesn't work with Percy, doesn't work with Gordon, it doesn't work with James or Toby, no. Henry's team only works with Henry and it's for that reason, along with the fact that it's so beautiful and tragic and powerful all at the same time, that it's my pick for the best Thomas and Friends character theme of all time. Truly one of the most unique and powerful Thomas themes out there. And uh, yeah, that was every Thomas character theme ranked. Now I know for a fact that not everyone is going to agree with my ranking and honestly, in a few days or weeks, I might not even agree with my ranking. You wouldn't believe how many times I changed this list around, swapping around themes and rankings, because honestly, every time I'd listen back to a new theme, like let's say I'd listen to James's theme for example, and when I'd finish it, I'd be like, nah, this one is my favourite. And then I'd listen to Gordon's theme and I'd be like, nah, this is my favourite. And then I'd listen to Toby's and I'd be like, nah, this is my favourite. So honestly, I I wouldn't be surprised if my opinions change very quickly on this video. So please, audience, let me know what way you would have ranked the themes. I don't really recommend listing out all 60 plus Thomas themes, so instead just give me your top 5 or top 10 Thomas character themes in the comments for the series. I'd love to hear how other people rank the themes in the fandom. And also please let me know if there's any themes or music that I mentioned in this video that you previously didn't know about or even liked, but ended up finding some new enjoyment for. Thank you all once again for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video. Slána Walia! My favorite part is that woo doo 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 woo doo 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 doo.